So with the application of the Calyx technology in the cement and lime industry, uh, we only realised this about four years ago, that it could be applicable to help capture the CO2 emissions. Uh, now the CO2 emissions from the cement and lime industry constitutes well over 6% of global CO2 emissions from, from man-made sources. So we felt the technology was very important to try and develop for the cement and lime industries for that reason. Uh, if I look at the uh, reasons why the project has been successful so far, I'd have to say that having a consortium of industrial partners and technical partners, research institutes, uh, and various stakeholder management parties as well has been critical to the success of the project. Uh, every single member of the consortium uh, has filled in a different piece of the puzzle uh, because it is a complex thing to get a technology uh, from the drawing board to implementation. I guess the biggest challenges we've had to overcome in the project uh, involve uh, trying to get all of these parties to work together uh, effectively. Uh, having solved that, uh, of course, going from the drawing board to implementation, there's all sorts of little problems that, that crop up. Um, and so while the challenge has been to get the team to concentrate on resolving these issues, uh, in fact, it's also been part of the project's strength. As we've got the teams working together very well, uh, these challenges have been knocked over. So if I look ahead, uh, say over the next four years, uh, some critical challenges for the technology are really to scale up. What I mean by that, uh, the Lilac project you see behind me will take about 5% of the slipstream of a cement plant. Now, of course, the ultimate aim is to capture all of the process emissions from a cement plant. And so the key thing we have to do with this technology is take it from this scale to a full-scale cement plant uh, application. So uh, a few things have to be done there with fuel, uh, with the, the way that the technology works with the tubes and the furnace. Uh, so all of those are things that our engineers have to work on. So if I look at the next, say, four years and the potential impact of the Kalex technology on the cement and lime industry, uh, I believe that we can scale this technology up uh, to be implementable uh, at that point in time. So, uh, for example, uh, if you look at the uh, CO2 cap on cement and lime, that's gradually reducing every year. Uh, I believe this technology can be implemented incrementally to help uh, the cement and lime industries uh, resolve their CO2 cap challenges. So uh, if I think about the challenges a small technology company like Calyx has had to face to, to get to this sort of stage, uh, it really is very difficult. I mean, we're a small Australian company, so how did we do it? Uh, well, the first thing we did is we looked for collaborative networks, and certainly we came to Europe because we felt that there were good collaborative networks funded by the European Union, uh, and so having built that sort of consortium, uh, that really is what launched this project. Uh, so key advice, get your networks established. Um, get some good stakeholder and technical networks established and go for it.